New York, NY Times, Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi, considered either the most important old master work to be auctioned in a generation or a damaged painting hyped by savvy marketing, sold on Wednesday night for 450.3 million US dollars, S$610.8 million, with fees, a record for any work of art sold at auction. It far surpassed the sale of Picasso's Women of Algiers, which fetched 179.4 million US dollars, S$243.5 million, at Christie's in May 2015. As a telephone bidder pondered the next increment, auctioneer Jesse Polkanen said, it's a historic moment, well wait. The price is all the more remarkable at a time when the old master's market is contracting, because of limited supply and the penchant of collectors for contemporary art. But to critics, the astronomical sale attests to something else, the degree to which the salesmanship has come to drive and dominate the conversation about art and its value. Christie's marketing campaign was perhaps unprecedented in the art world, it was the first time the auction house went so far as to enlist an outside agency to advertise the work, creating a video that includes top executives pitching the painting to Hong Kong clients as the holy grail of our business and likening it to the discovery of a new planet. It's been a brilliant marketing campaign, said Mr. Alan Hobart, director of the PIMS Gallery in London, who has acquired museum-quality artworks across a range of historical periods for the British businessman and collector Graham Kirkham. This is going to be the future. To the 27,000 people who lined up at pre-auction viewings in Hong Kong, London, San Francisco and New York to glimpse the painting of Christ as Saviour of the World, this was merely the chance to lay their eyes on what Christie's built as the last da Vinci, the only known painting by the Renaissance master still in a private collection, some 15 others are in museums. Members of the public, indeed, even many connoscenti, cared little if at all whether the painting might have been executed in part by studio assistants, whether Leonardo had actually made the work himself, or how much of the canvas had been repainted and restored. They just wanted to see a masterpiece that dates from about 1500 and was rediscovered in 2005. There is extraordinary consensus it is by Leonardo, said Mr. Nicholas Hall, the former co-chairman of Old Master Paintings at Christie's, who now runs his own Manhattan Gallery. This is the most important Old Master painting to have been sold at auction in my lifetime. That is the kind of name-brand appeal that Christie's was presumably banking on by placing the painting in its high-profile contemporary art sale, rather than in its less sexy annual old master auction, where it technically belongs. To some extent, the auction house succeeded with the painting even before the sale, having secured a guaranteed 100 million US dollar bid from an unidentified third party. It is the twelfth painting to break the 100 million US dollar mark at auction, and a new high for any old master at auction, surpassing Rubens' Massacre of the Innocents, which sold for 76.7 million US dollar in 2002, or more than 105 million US dollars, adjusted for inflation. But many art experts argue that Christie's used marketing gymnastics to mask the baggage that comes with the Leonardo from its compromised condition to its complicated buying history and said that the auction house put the artwork in a contemporary sale to circumvent the scrutiny of old masters experts, many of whom have questioned the painting's authenticity and condition.